Karzai, President Gorbachev, Chancellor Kohl, other world winners, ladies and gentlemen. I should like to start with to join the previous speakers and on behalf of members of my delegation and my countrymen and women to salute the people of the Federal Republic of Germany on this great day of reunification and national unity. Ladies and gentlemen, I should like also to offer my congratulations to His Highness the Aga Khan for receiving the Dear Kadriga United We Care Award in recognition of his extraordinary humanitarian contributions to building hope and opportunity for the world's poorest. It is a special privilege that exactly one year after I received in this magnificent city, gratefully, the Quadriga Award. I return today to honor one of the most renowned personalities of our time. My country, Tanzania, is a major and grateful beneficiary of the charitable spirit of His Highness. During my years as President of Tanzania, our relationship has grown in its warmth and depth and have appreciated enormously the friendship and enduring support that His Highness has shown to my country and to the people of East Africa, despite many challenges and some setbacks over time. His Highness, the spiritual leader of the global Ismaili community, is a man of vision who is committed to the noble ideals of humanity. His Highness, Daga Khan, the peace builder, believes in coexistence. East Africa today represents one of the most important hubs of the Aga Khan Development Network with the full range of social, cultural, and economic development agencies of the AKDN. In recognition of the reality that peace and civil concord are sustained by development, these programs have evolved long-standing and important investments to support the establishment of private sector enterprises that are critical to modern, sustainable, and productive economies. His development network has not only built schools, hospitals, roads, and bridges, but equally invested in developing important human capacity at all levels. The AKDN has been a pioneer going back many decades in the use of microfinance to support the establishment and expansion of small businesses. Given this history, and the fact that 2005 is the United Nations International Year of Microcredit, I am deeply gratified that His Highness has selected a microfinance project in Tanzania to be the recipient of the financial gift that accompanies the United We Care Award. I would also like to thank His Highness for his very warm gesture and generosity in doubling the gift so that it may have a more in-depth impact upon the beneficiaries. It is my distinct privilege and honor to present to you on this historic day of the unification of Germany, the prestigious De Quadriga Award. This award is not only a recognition of your personal achievements, but also an affirmation of the path that you have chosen to lead. May many others be inspired to walk your path and make the world a more humane place for generations to come. May I now request Your Highness to please join me on the stage. Distinguished recipients 
and Lord it is. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I am deeply touched by the generosity of the remarks by President Karzai and honored De Quadriga alumnus. His engagement and his foresightedness are an inspiration to the Afghan people as they reclaim their proud nationhood and struggle to build a future of promise. We salute them and stand shoulder to shoulder with them. Thank you also, President Kappa, for honoring us with your presence. Yours has been an exemplary leadership for your people's fight against poverty and their commitment to peace and harmony at home and within the region. I'm delighted to be once again in Germany on a day that marks the nation's reunification and its commitment to a strong democratic future. It is a great honor to be among the distinguished recipients, past and present, of an award which celebrates the four virtues of harmony, friendship, valor, and state wisdom. An enduring foundation of societal welfare, these values are at the heart of the ethics of Islam that guide the institutions of the Ismaili Imamat. The De Quadriga organizers and sponsors are to be highly commended for seeking to uphold them for global peace and progress. I accept the United We Care Award with much gratitude and still greater humility. The credit for it belongs to many. I am fortunate to lead an international community with a strong social conscience, bridging north and south east and west, the Ismailis have a long tradition of philanthropy, self-reliance, and voluntary service. Wherever they live, they faithfully abide by the Quranic ethic of a common humanity and a dignity of man. They willingly pool knowledge and resources with all those who share our social ethic to help improve the quality of life of less fortunate men women and children. This is the impulse that drives the Arkan Development Network, the AKDN. To understand this dimension of the religious office I hold, one must appreciate that Islam encompasses both the spiritual and the secular. This unity underpins an unrelenting effort towards an equitable order where the vulnerable are helped to regain the dignity of self-fulfillment. Long active in sub-Saharan Africa, the Middle East, South and Central Asia, the AKDN agencies and programs help advance human development, cultural, economic, and social. Experience convinces us that human progress can only be achieved and sustained when it is anchored in grassroots institutions of civil society able to harness merit and build on pluralism as bedrocks of democracy. We assist in building these organizations as well as for-profit institutions. Our horizons, therefore, are long-term, promoting local capacities for self-development. The emphasis on cultural values helps people manage the forces of change Many national and international, public and private development agencies support our activities in partnership with thousands of dedicated volunteers and professionals from different faiths and cultures. The German government works with us in strategically critical regions. We are encouraged by the World Bank, having identified AKDN programs as far afield as Pakistan or Tajikistan or East Africa, as examples to scale up for global poverty reduction. This award is therefore a tribute to many, our institutional and individual collaborators, our volunteers, and above all, to all those who struggle hard to take charge of their own development and destiny. Thank you. <laughs>